Hello. Well, this one is certainly a current one. <laughs> Has the Ukraine invasion been a big mistake? Well, as we all know, the much anticipated invasion of uh, Ukraine began a bit over three weeks ago, and it captured the world's attention and emotional involvement. Uh, here in Britain, it has dominated all the news platforms of submerging COVID, uh, Boris Johnson's various problems, even the horrors of climate change. To everybody's uh, surprise, the resistance and defensive skills of the Ukrainian armed forces have been very effective, bolstered by the unanimity of the, uh, the West in imposing sanctions on Russia. So has this been uh, Putin's Waterloo, is it all, or is it all part of an ongoing, intelligently devised master plan for greater Russia that has its occasional ups and downs, but which will ultimately prevail? Well, I look at both possibilities. First of all, let's look at those who say, yes, it has been a big mistake. Well, Putin has clearly misjudged both the capability of the Ukrainian military response, but also the nation's uh, determination to fight on in the most frightening of circumstances. And uh, this uh, resistance has been strengthened and inspired by a, a strong and impressive leader who has become actually a hero to the West. Uh, Russia's ground forces have been repeatedly humiliated, in many cases badly damaged. Generals have been killed. Uh, the Russian body count is considerable. That in itself must have come as a great uh, shock to the uh, powers that be in Russia. But the biggest surprise, and the reason that this invasion just incontrovertibly has been for Putin and for Russia a huge mistake, is the potency of the response from the West. Um, embargoes of Russian energy supplies, the closing of Western businesses in Russia, the, not, the denial of the banking funds transfer systems, the elimination of credit card facilities, the seizure of Russian overseas currency reserves have all had a devastating effect on the Russian economy and on its financial structure. Even going after the oligarchs and their yachts and their houses in London has made <laughs> obviously a big impression in Moscow. The ruble has been plummeting and Russia's ability to service its, its foreign debt is now in question and a, and a default seems likely. That's humiliating. And, and from the standpoint of the economy, it has been an unmitigated disaster and one which could not have even been remotely anticipated in the Kremlin. The, the case for a mistake is incontrovertible. Well, what about those that say, no, no, it hasn't been. Well, look, uh, history has demonstrated that Russia must not only continue to strengthen its defenses and borders, but even arrange for uh, buffer states uh, to prevent the incursions which have happened repeatedly in history and, and to such devastating effects. Uh, those who read the history of Russia cannot uh, help but be impressed by the enormity of that threat. Mother Russia must be safe. Uh, Putin understands this and is acting on it with resolve. Uh, Putin has bravely advanced on a number of occasions to carry out this uh, needed uh, defense policy and strategy. And even though not all have gone smoothly, the overall objective is a necessary and sound one. Invading the Ukraine, therefore, was not a mistake. Okay, well, in light of all of that, what's, what's my take? Uh, was it a mistake or was it not? Putin's uh, view of Russia's destiny and the necessity to defend it against external military, military threats is understandable. And, and I'm afraid the West made, it, made a big mistake and made it even worse by not rejecting any possibility of NATO membership for the Ukraine. Uh, oh, dear. But uh, that doesn't mean that he can pursue his military initiatives with impunity. For all of the reasons noted above, his adventure in the Ukraine has been a step too far and has damaged the Russian state and the economy to an unprecedented degree. Even China, with whom he's endeavored to build a closer relationship, seems to be dis distancing himself itself um, uh, from this project. They probably see him as a loser. 
So Putin has backed himself into a corner, and he himself seems to be experiencing both medical and psychological problems and may eventually really have to be restrained either by his Kremlin minions uh, just in order to save their own skin or by rioting in the streets. Look, it's happened before. It's just a question of time. It was a mistake. Well, I hope you liked that. If you did, please do the usual. Give me a like, subscribe, a notify, a comment, and I'll see you at the next one. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.